Hey folks, this is Vincent Vinny Jr. with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play some X-Wing. We're going to do something a little different today. I do not have uh, my camera propped up on my stand here. This is the camera that I normally use to take X-Wing videos. I am going to stray from the usual format, get you guys sick a little bit, because I'm going to be moving the camera around. Woo! Oh, sorry, I'll stop. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, use my cell phone. Uh, probably less professional to do it this way. But uh, I'm trying a new format. I'm going to eliminate some parts of the game from the camera shots, like the actual movement. Because trying to edit all of this stuff after the fact is a real pain. It takes 45 minutes to two hours sometimes. So all I'm really going to show you guys is uh, the combat sections. Um, but this, and using my cell phone, I can actually, like, get in up close and personal to the models and, and do some really cool things, assuming I feel creative at the time. So, uh, right now, Vinny and I are playing a game. I am the Rebels, he's the Imperials. I've got two Rebel pilots here. Uh, both of these are X-Wings, two Red Squadron pilots. Then I've also got two other X-Wings. One is Hobby, one is Garvin Drias. Now, the upgrades that they have is just two Astromechs. Uh, Hobby here has the R3A2 upgrade, and Darwin has the R2 Astromech. So that all comes to 100 points, and they're set up like this. And then coming over here to Venny's setup, uh, he's got... So what do you have going on there? What's your card say? You've got Whisper. With the... With the st Stygium Particle Accelerator. You've got a Sigma Squadron pilot, which is the other TIE Phantom there. And then you've got a TIE Defender, Rexler Brath, with a Wrangler... Mang Wrangler. Mangler. Mangler. You have the Wrangler cannon. <laughs> you lasso other ships, the Wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, but yes, here's, the, here's that card. Here's the... Here's that. And that. And that definitely less professional than my usual videos. So hopefully you guys enjoy this anyway. Um, this is just more of a test to see if this format actually works and if you guys actually like it. I'll try not to do too many jerky movements with the cell phone. So without further ado, let's uh, just get the game started, shall we? All right, so we've gone ahead and done our movement phase. As you can see, not too much has happened. The two X-Wings are starting to veer off in between this lane of asteroids here. And he, all he's really done is done a, was it three straight that you did? Yeah. For each of yours. You didn't take any action, so your two TIE Phantoms are still um, visible. And then as far as these X-Wings over here, like I said, these two are going down this lane. These two may end up going straight and then meeting them in that lane, or they might be turning, who's to say? So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll be right back with another movement phase complete. All right, so here we are. We've completed another movement phase. I went ahead and took the actions off camera. Speaking of actions, um, as you can see, the X-Wings have turned with their brethren and are going down this lane. His three ships went ahead and did a four straight maneuver. And uh, he didn't even cloak yet, so his uh, phantoms are still visible. I think he's more interested in shooting me out of the sky than cloaking and maneuvering. Which is mm. fine. I mean, his, his TIE phantoms are pretty powerful in terms of attack. Four types. attack power. Mm -hmm. Four attack types. So beats an X-Wing. Now, as far as the actions go and, and possible combat in this phase, there is no combat. Um, he's definitely um, out of the firing arc on both of these. His uh, firing arc here just misses me there. And likewise, mine uh, also misses. It's, it's like, it's barely not there. So we don't have any combat to conclude this round. However, Action. this X-Wing is in range of this here. And this X-Wing is in range here. Now his three was the first to move because he has the lowest pilot skill. So he got to this space first. And my X-Wings were still back here somewhere, so that he was not in range to perform any sort of target lock on me. These two X-Wings arrived after this one did, so I got two uh, target locks, one oh, yeah. with this one and one with this one. Type Phantoms don't have target locks. Oh, Type Phantoms don't have target I locks. I could have done a barrel roll, but... You could have done a barrel roll, but... I'd be in range. That's true. 
Okay, well, um, that concludes this particular turn, and uh, we'll be right back after we move our ships again, and uh, we'll probably see some combat, so stay tuned. All right, so here we are. Things are starting to heat up here. Um, I'm going to try and explain as much as I can. Um, these are where my X-Wings ended up after their movement. These two up here did some turning toward, uh, toward this other lane. Uh, these two X-Wings, this one just went straight ahead while this one did a slight turn. They didn't run into each other. So all of them, uh, well these two took target locks and these two took focus action because they already had a target lock. And as you can see, this uh, TIE Phantom here has four target locks on him. So he's probably <laughs> going to be the first to go. Um, then we've got uh, Whisper back here uh, with a focus token. He went ahead and took an evade on this guy. And then he went ahead and did a 4k turn with, with Rexler Brath here. This and took, is a white maneuver. Which is a white maneuver. <laughs> so he doesn't uh, have to you know, get a stress token or anything. And he went ahead and took a focus action with that. So as you can see, um, someone's going to blow up here. It's just a matter of who. So uh, let's just go ahead and get combat out of the way now. All right. So the first up in this combat phase is Whisper here. Right. Let's see what range we're at. Okay, so if I get one extra, and I do. Are you I at get, range one? Yeah. Because the mark is actually on Who are you base. going after? Number it's kind four. of difficult to do this one-handed. So you can go exactly arc to arc. Uh, no, I don't think so. Look at that. See that line? Yeah, I got you tipped there. Because the base is... Alright, let, let it go for a minute. I want to see where it is. Yeah, it's a two. Uh, yeah, it's a two. Mm, that's number three. So, so you're going to um, attack... This phantom's going to attack that there? Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to go the ships around. Here, it's alright. Like oh, by the way, folks, standard disclaimer. We play to have fun. Don't leave nasty comments that we're doing stuff wrong. Uh, you know, as long as we're having fun, that's all that really matters. Okay, so you're going to do uh, seven here, attacking this one here. Four You've got dice. four attack dice. I've got two defense dice. Plus I got a focus token. You do have a focus token. Yes, you do. Now, who is this? This is a red squadron pilot, so he doesn't have any special abilities. You have two hits. Um, and a focus. A focus and, and a blank. So you're going to spend your focus token. So that's three I'll do hits. as much damage as possible. So you're going to take this focus token, put it... I'll just throw it over there, and it probably went <laughs> off the table. Okay. No, I didn't do it. All right, so now I get to roll two defense dice now. I and, hope I hit. and I've got an evade and a focus. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my focus token to turn this into an evade. And that leaves me with one damage, right? Yeah. So I'm going to come over here. Now that was the number five. So this uh, shield token goes bye-bye. And I get a evade token. Or a focus token. Focus token. What is Whisper's whisper special ability? When it after perform attack that hits, which it did, you may assign one focus token to your ship. Yes. It's upside down. Uh, yes. I am reading upside down. I am awesome. Okay, there you go. For the folks at home that want to read this, yes. So after you perform an attack that hits, you may assign one focus token. So he's going to assign one focus token to his ship. So he's going to, well, okay, so you're going to do that? Okay. All right. So that concludes that attack. Um, next up. Now, your eight should have gone first. However, there's no one in his firing arc at all. And this should be like this. Unless it was... No. No one's in range. Trust me. No one's in range. <laughs> no. I didn't find either ship right there. All right. So, uh, next be... up is the six here. And that would be uh, Garvin Drius. Yeah, he's dead. Um, well, it's probably going to be range two. Just in looking... I know. He's still dead. He's uh, away. I'm trying to do this from a top-down perspective. And it's not... It's two. It's two, definitely. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to do two dice there. Uh, no. Yeah, three attack dice. Yeah. I do have a target lock. So, uh, what I'm going to do is... I thought I had your focus token on this guy. No, no I didn't. It was a target lock. Okay. Yeah, so I should have taken it. I should have taken the focus because uh, Garvin Drius' special ability. After spending a focus token, you may place that token on any other friendly ship at range one to two instead of discarding it. So I should have taken a focus token and then given it to one of these other ships up here, but I wasn't thinking about number. it. Well, That'd be your number five. All right, so I got, um, I I'm gonna go ahead and do my target lock, uh, C and C. Yes, I'm gonna take the CC off. 
She's and a, roll this got crit, one. So he might get damaged. Hit. Okay, so I got two hits and a He's crit. He's in your crit. All right, you got an evade and a focus. I just have an evade token. You have an evade token. So, so I'll spend but, it. So you, that's two hits it's, that you negate. So that, that means you he gets a crit. Well, you take one shield damage. Oh, uh, yeah, because then you canceled it. Right, so you've got I, one shield I, left. I didn't have, uh, that was a phantom. I keep doing the wrong people. There you go. So you got one shield off your TIE Phantom there. Um, all right, so next up is the uh, number five, which is this other, oh, that's Hobby. Okay, and Hobby's special ability. All right, um, when you acquire, no, wrong one. When you acquire or spend a target lock, you may remove one stress token from your ship, which is nice. R3A2 states, when you declare the target of your attack, if the defender is inside your firing arc, you may receive one stress token to cause the defender to receive one stress token. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use R3A2 special ability to give both of us a stress token. Oh my god. Okay, so both of us now have a stress token. Now, whenever I use my target lock this round, um, I get to remove mine because of Hobby's special ability. So I'm going to go ahead and now attack. I'm at range two, uh, so I get three attack dice with him. All right, well, let me fix that. I need to get a die. All right, well, who? who? Oh, there's no point in using a target lock. I think I'm dead. Well, yeah, I guess we'll keep my target lock. Two evades. Wow, you've got good uh, results there. So um, that's... I have zero you get, shields. You have zero shields no, now. No, I only need two damage All right. to die. So the target lock stays there. Next up, we've got um, these four over here. Uh, these fours. So these two have to shoot now. No, I thought this one had a focus. Or did I spend it on that? Yeah, evade? I spend okay. it on the evade. All right. So um, I'm going to start with um, I'm going to yeah. start with this one. It's range one there. So you get four attack dice. Yes, I get hey, four. I think he's in range one too. Possibly. Yes. So there's no either. Close the space. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this one first because I want to keep my focus for possible defense. So um, I'm going to go ahead and roll the four attack dice. I I've think got, I'm dead. I've got three hits and a crit there. Yeah, I think I'm dead. And you've got two evade, or no, two focus. I think I'm dead. So that's four hits. So yes. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and remove these extra target locks because they're not going to be used anymore. All right. And this guy is no longer stressed Now because he... he's dead. That's one way to remove a stress token. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. no, I think I and then that. lastly, um, we've got this four over but here. At least it took three X wings to destroy one phantom. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get your phantoms out of the picture as quickly as possible. So this one is My going to My defender is the danger one. Mm -hmm. He's the one with the mangler cannon. Range two, as you can see there. So that's going to be range two. Uh, we're going to do three attack dice. I've got a focus that I can spend. Um, no focus needed because I rolled three hits. Okay. What did you get? So I got I got damage. Uh, okay, so you're gonna spend your focus token? Oh uh, yeah, I have a focus token still. So, but you that's one hit though, because remember three hits versus two sure. evade is one hit. I forgot I had the evade to focus so, token. So, so which it. one? Which one are you over here? Oh, I it's the he needs. I'm attacking three. the tie. Yeah, he needs, he needs three, three, and then he needs, he needs one. gone, gone. Okay, so there you go. All right, and I. think... I think that about does it for this. Yeah, um, so you don't have anybody else to attack. Yeah. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and uh, resolve ship, another movement phase moved, off camera. The ship blew up. About, like, it was my time Uh-huh. All right. If we did not blow that ship up, I could have attacked. No, I think you did. Get, I mean, that was that's kind of difficult, though. You've got all these X-Wings with all these attack dice. Um, if they're grouped together, yeah, like but this. they took but, three of them that destroyed the one. But this is going to be interesting now because uh, who knows... You know, where these man. ships are going to end up after the fact. So, uh, yeah, stay Plus tuned. Plus, the tight defender, the one who has the 3333. Three, three, three. Yeah, <laughs> he's got some massive skills there. All right. Okay, so this is a big mess. Um, <laughs> basically, my X Wings turned this way toward the uh, tie defender over here. His tie phantom did a K turn. And managed to get behind me. Now your K turn is that a stressful maneuver? Yeah. Okay, so you should have. It's one not of those. the tight defender. Oh, I mean, I mean your your uh, tight yeah. phantom. Yeah. It, it, okay. So there's that. Um, I took target locks where I could on the tight defender here. This guy in the back here, um, Garvindrius, he ran into this X wing here, so he does not get to take an action. 
All right, so um, combat phase, um, starting with, you've got an eight here, and you do have a firing solution on this red squadron pilot over one. here. Probably it's is. range one, yes. I did three. <laughs> so you get uh, four attack dice? Yes. I don't, I'm not using Mangler Cannon because I get more attack dice this way. Okay. Let's have a target lock. Wow, three hits and a focus. Uh, you I'll had... re-roll this. Okay, so you're going to spend your target lock. Okay. I'm going to spend yours. And what do you got? Hit. That's hits. Four That's hits. four hits. That's great. All right, so uh, an evade and a focus. I'm going to go ahead and spend my focus token. You have to, your shields. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to turn this into an evade. Now, that's two hits, so I have to come over here. That's my number three, and remove both of these shields off of here. No, I... So I'm shieldless now. All right, next up is your number seven. I will attack your number four. Which wrecks their wrath special ability? After attack that hits, do you have a face down damage card? No. No. Then it oh, okay. Use then you can turn this face off. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now it turns into a critical attack. All right. So what are you gonna do with your seven now? What are you gonna do with him? I'm gonna attack him. You're gonna attack at this range guy one again. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this red squadron guy's in trouble. No His... focus token left to protect him. All right. And... So go ahead. And you four attack. No, five attack dice, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have said anything. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh my god, four <laughs> hits in a focus. You're dead. Uh, yeah, well, no, if I can roll, if I can roll two evade, I can There's roll two evade. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, five hits, oh, four hits, dead. Okay, so this X-Wing is now off the table. All right, and the corresponding... That's for taking my typhoon out. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now my X-Wings get to shoot back, finally. Um, I should have we'll start in, with uh, the six in the back here, this six. Um, so he's going to, this is going to be a little rough to measure. Probably range two if I'm going to eyeball this. Yeah, it's range two. Range two. And you don't have, you don't have a fire solution of him. Um, I do have my target lock from the previous, I thought I had a target lock from the previous. No, you, you remember he, no, he used it. Oh, he used it? Okay. Yeah, he was one of the attackers. Oh, uh, okay. All right, well then I just get uh, three attack dice and that's it. I get three defense dice. Yes, you do. Because my tank fan's amazing. All right, I got uh, two hits and a focus, so that. You've got an evade and a focus, so you take one damage. Oh, my shields. I have three shields and three halls, so I have pretty... So you're down to two shields. That means I press hit points back. All right, I have this five now is going to attack. He's got a target lock and a focus. He's range two, I think. Um, yeah, he is. I see it. He's probably range two. Let's see. Actually, closest base to closest base is range one. Barely. Yeah, so I get four attack dice. Three defense dice. Difficult to do this with five. All right, so let me do my target lock and focus. Um, I'm going to dispend my uh, focus to turn. <laughs> I'm going to keep my target lock. I might die. And just turn that into that. I might have so one focus hit point gone. Rest. That'd be the worst case scenario. Yeah, one hit point All right, so you're going to roll three defense dice, right? You've got two blank and an evade, so that's three hits. One, two. I need a face down. Face down damage card. That means okay. he has two hull left. So you've got uh, two hull left on that. And you have a number four, so. Yes. He's uh, dead. Well, we'll see. All right, so this other one here, I'm the other really red good. squadron uh, pilot, he's going to go he ahead died. and roll four oh, attack right. dice at range one. He's got a target lock, so let him um, resolve that before anything else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that because yeah. that was a really crappy roll. Uh, so CC I'm going to all focus. Use oh. the focus token. Use the focus token. <laughs> I don't have it. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to re-roll these two. You would have dealt, Blake. All right, so I've got three hits there. If I could evade three evades, that'd be amazing. You've got three blanks. I'm dead. <laughs> so, yes, your TIE Defender is just gone. Okay. I should have done three TIE Defenders and just... Oh, well, this, this target lock goes away because that ship is no longer present. And I think that concludes... The um, combat phase? Yeah, the combat phase. So, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and uh, resolve another movement phase off camera, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we went ahead and moved, though not in the way that Vinny expected. So the way this worked out, um, he expected my X-Wings to just do a K-turn, which I did. 
I went ahead and did a K turn with my uh, four pilot here. So he has a stress token. However, with these guys, I just went ahead and did one straight. And then um, he did a two turn in this direction uh, in the hopes of getting out of the way of these K turns. However, um, that didn't seem to work out too well because now these X wings are in firing range. I took two target locks as my action. He took the cloak action to give himself some more defense dice. And according to the cloak, was it two defense dice? Yeah, or two it? extra. Um, agility values increased by two. So um, I may not end up hitting him. He may end up having a hard to, or he may actually defend this because um, he's going to have a lot of defense die. He has two to start with. He'll have four defense dice. So um, we concluded that movement and now onto the combat phase again. He doesn't actually get to attack because his you know firing arc is sort of uh, facing the wrong way. So we'll start with the uh, six higher, uh, the Garvin Diaz. Uh, and Garvin Diaz... He's probably in Ridge 1. I should have taken a focus to... I keep forgetting his ability, but I like my target locks. That's yeah, he's at Ridge 1. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... It's 4 against uh, four. 4. Yeah, so let me use my target lock though. Um which I will use. I wish you didn't have one. All right, because I've got two hits here. Uh, so that's S and S. You're going to re-roll. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll those two blank ones. You mean to focus? Yeah. Oh, come on. These four hits. Okay. <laughs> I think it all blanks. That would, that would be screwed. Well, that'd be, that'd be, that would save me from having to edit anything. All right, so there's <laughs> two evade. Okay, so you take two hits. So you take one hit on your shield. I think I'm dead. And one face down damage card. <laughs> so you've got you've got one hit point. <laughs> point left. So what does this Stygium accelerator do? I was gonna use it. When you decloak or you may perform a free evade action. You forgot about that. Alright, so you know what? Oh, I'll give it to you. Oh uh, yeah, you, you cloaked. Do. So you get to take a free evade, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'll give that to you. You had an evade. Um, oh. So reduce that damage by one. Spend your evade. So now you just have two yeah, holes. I forgot that it did that. That's fine. All right. So I gave him one one hit back. I he I gave him that evade so he can you know get an extra defense. Because I'm trying to survive. Well, that may be a problem. Okay, hobby at range. Uh, actually, I'm going to use hobby's ability. Um, I'm going to um, actually it's hobby's. Again, I don't know if it's hobbies or the eight or the R two here. R two. When you acquire, or spend a target lock. You may receive. All right. Um, when you declare the target of your attack. Okay. So basically, I'm going to use that R 2s ability to do stress and stress there. Oh, really. And then when I spend my target lock, I'll be able to remove it. Um, so really? yeah, really. Okay. Four attack dice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spend my target lock. I've got I hit in a crit here. I'm going to spend my target lock. Oops, no, that was hit. All right, so I'm going to spend Z and Z. That removes that Why? Why are you stress. removing a crit? I didn't remove a crit. Oh. I accidentally hit it. Uh, and then it was two hits here, if I remember right. And then sets so a focus and a blank. So that's just two hits. If so, I can evade this, amazing. All right, you've got two evade. No, you've got two focus. One blank and one evade token. So that's one face down there. At least I didn't get... get so had I not given you that evade, you would have been out of the game. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's that. And you then... You still got the one over there. I still got the one. I believe this is a range two. Yeah, this is range two. I actually might be... Uh, it looked like range three. That's range two. Okay. <laughs> if it was range three, that'd be amazing. All it right. would have five a defense die. I don't have anything special, guys. It's a stress token, so... Uh, I've got a hit and two focus. You Come just need on. one evade. You've got four evades, so <laughs> I missed. You think I missed? You get three damage, you did. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so, okay, so that concludes that. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, move back on to the movement phase now for the following turn. We'll resolve that and get right back to you. <laughs> All right, so Vinny did a little fancy flying uh, this round. Uh, he went ahead and decloaked. So he was basically somewhere like here, somewhere around here. He moved up here, decloaked, barrel rolled over here, or decloaked over here, then barrel rolled with his action over here. Uh, so he is now over here. And it's a good thing he did that because uh, my X-Wings were bearing down on him. Uh, this X-Wing had a targeting solution on him. This one had a targeting solution on him, a firing solution. Uh, the only one that now has any sort of firing solution on him is this guy over here. So uh, this will be interesting to see how this plays out. These two took target locks. 
Garvin finally took a focus. Unfortunately, he can't use it because he's not in fire anymore. <gasps> So, um, yeah, we'll start with the 7. Now, the 7 does not have a fire in solution whatsoever. So no, it's just yours. This is a range 3. Range 3, okay. So, we'll go ahead and just do that then. I, I, get, three, I get 3 attacks. I would get 5. I do have a target lock, so let me resolve that. Um, I've got 2 hits and a focus, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my target lock um, and re-roll the focus. I might die. Maybe. It's a blank. All right, so we've got 2 hits. Come on. And you've got one Money evade made. and two blanks. So you take one point of damage. That's the last yeah. hit that your phantom can take. And it's gone. It's blown up. Good game. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Good game. The X-Wings prevail. Okay, so there you have it. Another game of X-Wing for you. Um, again, this was a new camera format, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys may end up hating it, but this uh, may end up saving me hours of work, so we'll see. Um, if you guys want to see more X-Wing, uh, let us know if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. What are you doing? <laughs> and I'll catch you next time.